Hello, hello, it's Simone. I'm finally back with another uh, video for my 28 Days of Love mini album. I am working in a mini Daisy Dory. It is the mini Daisy Dory of February 2017. And I have already started with the mini album. The prompts are from Alyssa Fast. She is at Alyssa Fast on Instagram and I have printed the next batch and already put them on the right spot in the mini album. And now I am showing you just quickly where I I have a projects travelers notebook insert, which is this one. And this is where I wrote down all the prompts and here the pink writing is the photos that I chose to make or from my stash of photos already and the circles is where I noticed that I had to redistribute the prompts onto different pages. They wouldn't just wouldn't the photos just wouldn't fit on the paper in the mini album and so I just switched them around. So now I'm working on prompt uh, 8 and 9 and I'm using this skinny a number set from Coco Daisy. I think this was one of my first purchases from their store. So if they still have them in the shop, I will definitely link them in the description box below. And now I'm just referring back to my um, projects notebook and um, write down the prompt. And I also always start with I love such and such. So it's, I love a friend who lives far away and I chose, well, I have a lot of friends who live far away because I moved from another country to the United States. But um, for this prompt, I just chose my newest friend from far away, which is actually someone I have never ever met in real life. Um, she's my new planner bestie, Anna from Sweden, and I just... That she was the first person I thought of when I read that prompt and that's why I stole a photo from her Facebook account and printed this. And then the prompt for day number nine, you can, if you go to Alyssa Fast's Instagram, you can find all the prompts there. Um, the prompt for number nine, I don't really remember. I just know that it didn't fit for me at all and so I chose the second friend that came to my mind who lives far away. She doesn't live that far away anymore. She lived in Hamburg and I lived in Munich when we both still lived in Germany and now she lives about 50 minutes away here and so I wrote the prompt that I wrote down here is Someone who doesn't live that far away? I don't know. She doesn't live close by so that we just like meet every time, every day on the playground with our kids or something. But she's closer than most of my other friends. So I just wanted to write this down and thought it would be really nice to have these two pretty new, very good friends on facing pages. So um, what I'm doing with this mini album is I'm really trying to keep it very simple, not use too much over embellishment and just get it done basically. Um, the mini Daisy Dory is, has pre-designed pages so there's always some kind of design on the page. And then um, I'm using the skinny alphabet set that is repeating throughout the whole album. And then I have these puffy heart stickers from the crate paper. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. It's from the newest crate paper line. And I focused on that line in February uh, with the April Lily shop. But I just can't remember the name of that collection. Um, so these puffy heart stickers are left over from, I didn't really use any of them in my scrapbooking, so I decided, well, they would be really cool if I put one of these hearts on each of the page, of the 
for each of the prompts. So that's what I did here. And there was something missing on that on the, those pages, so I just cut out two of the labels and stuck them down there, and I really like how this turned out. And these two pages are not very good examples for what I'm going to tell you now. I am actually not really journaling very much about um, in this mini album. I usually just write the prompt and what I love and then that's it. Then add some stickers or stamps or just some kind of prettiness and then I'm done. So next prompt is prompt number 10. And this is someone I write I email and I actually really don't email that many people anymore but I get every week I get an email from my host family from it's oh, yeah over 20 years ago now um, when I was an exchange student in um, New York and I thought that it would be really great to include them in my mini album and so that's what I did and here it says I love someone I email and then I just wrote the Swenson added my heart and then that's it prompt number 11 I don't have yet I needed still needed to print it I somehow forgot to print um, several of the photos that I'd already chose so I just left the page blank and we'll go back later so now I'm stamping the 12 here and I'm using this um, sticker book from Amy Tangerine as a, a basis to stamp because the mini album is because of the puffy stickers and everything it is, has become pretty bulky and so you can't really stamp if you don't have a flat um, underground to stamp, uh, stamp on. This prompt is I love something old and I chose this pair of hand knit socks and the funny fun fact about these socks is that I only knit one of them and the other one I just never really got I think I cast it on but then never got over the first maybe one inch so I gave it to my mom and she finished it and I really they have I have been wearing them for maybe 10 years now. They are thin, they start to get holes and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to actually um, document them. And it's not a really huge layout because they're not that important but having them in this mini album is great and now I can let go of them and throw them away. <laughs> I'm still sad, but I have a photo of them, so yay! And then I look through my die cuts, also from the Create Paper collection, Valentine's collection from this year, and see if there is something that I can add down here. And I really like that die cut with the two hearts, but somehow um, it was too big having two, so I just cut one of the hearts off. And I didn't really find a place for the cut off part to go, so I'll just get rid of it. And now I have to skip several pages. And then there is... This was actually supposed to go on the 14th. It is Today I Love My Valentine. But I... It, the photo didn't fit on where the prompt there's 36 pages in this um, mini album the prompts are 28 prompts for February and um, I counted all the pages and I have already used some prompts on a double spread so I really needed to uh, make sure that I do not uh, waste any pages and it just didn't work on the 14th so I moved my valentine over to the 15th and I will work on the 14th next time when I'm when I'm back with another 
video, but this time it says, Today I love my Valentine. And then I am looking through the um, chipboard sheet from that Crate Paper collection, and I just, um, it's so thick, and I don't want to bulk up the mini album more than needed, so I just take most of the layers of the chipboard layers off and then glue um, the chipboard piece down. However, I think it's, I should have cut some of it off on the right side because it just um, dominates my photo now. But hey, yeah, sometimes these things happen and I still like it and I love that hey hot stuff thing saying it's so strange and weird and then the next prompt is um, my favorite letter and I actually have never really thought about my favorite letter and since my uh, valentine is called Michael why not just choose M for my favorite letter and that's what I did I just freehand um, traced the letter M onto some pattern paper and cut it out and now I'm um, using uh, my sharpie to just um, what do you call it trace the edges and um, glue it down and write the prompt stamp the stamp the um, number 16 and done so I'm really, I'm thinking about what to do with the picture that is already there. It says number one, Simon Fan. And even though I like Simon, and even though I like that saying, it just, the M was too big for the design of the page. So it, I covered it completely and uh, like it much better that way. Now I'm just stamping the 16 and write down the prompt, which is I love my favorite letter, and then I'm done. And you will see some close-ups of the pages that I made. There's one that I didn't fill because I totally forgot that I had printed and put the photos on the pages. I just saw them after. And since the video was already quite long, I decided um, to go ahead and not film. Um, the process. So I, I'm just flipping through the pages that I have actually made. This is the sock page. Um, these are here is number 15 and number 16 and I will go back and work on the rest for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye!